What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Eddie Haskell. Sorry, man. Uh, this ain't Corona sweat. This just getting off work sweat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we here to got the. Uh, I'm about to show y'all today is uh, install is a little blue, 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 blue. spit that out, spit that out. Yeah, so we had a oil cash can. I'm gonna install today from Billet Technology. Um, pretty simple install, man. Like always, everything's pretty simple, man. Uh, took me about maybe 15 minutes. I don't know. We'll check it out in the video. You know, I didn't do a time lapse. Straight up for it. Just video straight all the way. Uh, yeah, this is packed up again. Okay, here the hose. Here the hose. Catch can with all the equipment inside of it. It's pretty well packed. Bubble wrap. Pretty good job. Out the can is what you're gonna need. And a 13 millimeter socket. Alright, first off, what we need to do is disconnect this. And what we're gonna mount it. Get a, it's a plastic uh, fitting here. Just wedge the screwdriver in between and ease that out. Be pretty gentle with it. Don't want to mess up your wiring. Get that out the way so we can get ready to mount this. I'm gonna mount it in right here. And the Z bracket goes right there. Like I said before, we're gonna put this in right here. Do have a tip for you when putting this in here um try to keep this level because if you don't you'll knock the bolt to cross tread uh, i almost did that at one point right here uh tilting it to the side and causing it not to go in straight so make sure you try to keep it level you know not lean put pressure on it while you're screwing that in and tighten this up with the socket One thing to remember, um, you are tightening this into uh, aluminum, so don't over tighten it. You know, it's an aluminum block. Uh, oops. Oh, thank goodness you fell all the way through. But. Also, when screwing this in, make sure not to over tighten it and make sure not to cross tread it because it'd be a, a big problem trying to get that off. And then, you know, it'll never go back on properly again. All right, now let's get to these hoses. All right, let me take this one off here that off on this side some of these things are on there pretty good especially if uh, it's been on there since uh, you bought it and I bought this three years ago yeah three years ago I'm just now putting on a cash can somebody slapped me and so I'm putting on the hose to the cash can but as you can see YouTube working mode forgot to position the camera so I apologize that you don't get any footage of that part put that other one onto this side let's put that in there 
don't like the way that's capping right there. Assume this is the return hose. Now, what I did with the elbow, I flipped it so it's, it doesn't extend as far out because when I put my half covers on top of there, um, it won't fit. So, switch that around so it's just closer. And voila, done. got to put my half covers on there real quick but yeah like I said it's, it's a quick simple easy job doesn't take a rocket sign to put this together uh, uh, it's pretty easy plug and play so yeah I like the way it's looking so here we are with the total finished job right here uh, looks nice with my half covers I have a video on uh, me making those half covers also. As you can see, it was originally the power by SRT, but grind away the S, now it's powered by RT. Wish they would originally make some for the regular RT. All right, man, see, you know that catch can look nice on there, right? That thing look right, man. It actually matched my paint that I picked out to paint my half covers and uh, my strut top, my strut covers. Um, and I think my fuse box cover. Yeah, that's the things I painted. Um, oh yeah, and where it says charger in the front. Um, that's until I can afford to get some, you know, high quality bullet tech type, you know, stuff, you know, to finish making my engine bay look pretty. Um, I mean, comment down below, tell me what y'all think about it, actually how the engine bay looks, man. Um, in the video, I said I had a video for that. I forgot I don't have the video for that because, uh, on my old page where I didn't make that, uh, got struck for copyright. So I'll just have, I might have to re edit it, try to edit the music out, try to get it up there for y'all. But um, like offhand, I don't have it anymore. I do technically on my computer and hard drive and stuff, but not on YouTube. It was on my old page. Um, like I said, this is a whole new page coming to new. Um, just when I was building it up, got hit. But. There's no here, no there. That's, you know, you're making mistakes. You learn from your mistakes. So, with that being said, man, I'm stop holding y'all time up for the day, man. Uh, let me know what y'all feel about that in the comment section, if y'all like it. If, you know, that color scheme, if you like that color scheme, I'm going with yellow and black, man. That's the theme I'm going with. You know, it's time for me to start moving towards the interior, man. Owning a car, pretty much brand new. When I bought it, I only had like 1,500 miles on it. Person previously owned it. it was an older guy, said so it was too much power, so he stepped down to, I think, like an SXT. And bought that bad boy. I won't even tell you the price I bought it for. It was so cheap. Oh, my gosh. That's a whole nother day, a whole nother story. But on that note, y'all, man, hit that subscribe button, man, if you're new to the station. Uh, hit that like button. Comment down below. Share. Tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. That's how we do. Eddie Haskell, I'm out, baby.